Hello everyone. Welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for event binding. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch part 26 of this tutorial series where we have discussed about the unit test case for the attribute binding. So let's understand what is the event binding and how we write the unit test case for that. So let's go to the Visual Studio. So event binding in the sense like if we want to do something on the click event or something like if we are going to make any changes into a text box. So on that, if we make any changes, so that is called the event binding. So here you can see I have couple of the buttons and like in the button one, you can see on the click event, we are doing something. And here on click event, uh, I have done. So based on that, we are doing something and here is the text box and like on change of this text box button and text box to we are uh, like sending the like event um, we are sending from here you can see from here so like uh, currently uh, like we have attached some event to this one and if you will go into the component side so we have created one label and by default the value is dot net and when you will uh, click on this button one click so it will change the label um, from this dot net to dot net office if you click on button two then this will be changed to the uh, label value change to button two and on change event like in the sense when in the text box when you will like uh, change the value then it will set this label and another text box like when we will change any value then this event will change like whatever the value is there in that label so when you will run this application so it look like this so this is the button so by default is a dot net so when i will click on button one we will see that value change to .NET office because we have made here as a .NET office now if we will click on button two so let's go here and if i will click on button two so label value change on button two and this is the text box so here if i will put as a so like here it is this label value change on button two so if i will click on anything on this one so we are seeing like it is changed to label value change and it is coming from here like on this text box label value change so for this one for clarification what i will do i will do this one on change event label change so let's save it go here refresh it now see on button 2 this is the output for label now if i will uh, type anything like dot so on change input label change so this is the value is coming now next is like if i will type anything so here we can see like whatever i am writing here same it is binding to this one so these are the couple of the event i have uh, attached here now what we will do we will write test cases for all these events which we have attached here so currently we are having one two three and four event we have attached so we will write test case for all the events so let's go to the uh, like spec file and here we will write the test case so it and here i will uh, like give the name as a button one so in that way i am giving and now let's write the test case so first what we have to do first we have to get the uh, like this file so first we have to get this dom element here so for getting the dom element what we have to do first element equal to and what we have to do first of all we have to define the type and the type of this is html button event and then debug element dot knit debug element dot so first we have to write fixture dot debug element dot native element dot then query selector and inside this one with the prefix of the hash we have to give the id and the id is button one so let's put the button one now at point of this time what if i will check expect component dot label so at point of this time if i will check this label so what it will be equal to dot equal 
and it will be equal to the dot net so if you will see like at point of this time we didn't click so the default value is dot net so here it will come so now at point of this time let's check our unit test case first so let's write the ng test So we can see here now our test case is passing and if we will go on the browser we can see our button button one text like a test case is passing. So now what I will do I will trigger the click event. So element dot click. So I will trigger this event. Now what I will do first we have to detect the changes. So let's detect the changes. dot detect changes and now what we will do we will expect and what we are expecting component dot label dot to equal and now when we, we will click on this button one then what the value will change it will change to dot net office so let's write it here so and let's save it and then we'll see like what is the output for the same and we can see at point of this time the value is uh, updated and we can see like it is succeeding and if we will go here we can see even here also like dot net office and our test case passing so this is the way we can like uh, create a unit test case for the button event now we will create for the button 2 and that is a canonical form type of the button so in that case also the test case will be similar to this one only just we have to replace let's copy it and here what I will make the changes I am just replacing the button 2 and here if I will write button 2 and on the button to click what we are changing we are changing to this one and if I will copy and I will paste it here so in that case like by default will be the dot net and now if I will save it so we should see here like two test cases is passing and we can see here and like if I will okay so let's change it to the button two first so once I'll save it and it'll go on the browser we can see like mm, both the test cases passing successfully and here we can see the value also changing so this is the way of uh, writing the unit test case for button now next we will see the how we can write the test case for this uh, text box like on the input chain so for that one what i am going to do first let's um, first i will copy this one so it will save our time and what i am going to do here i am going to write text box one so text box one and here i will change first the id so here this one and this is HTML input element so these two we have done and initially the component that label is the dot net now this is not a click event and what it is it is basically like when we type anything on the text box so that event we have to write here so for that one we have to get rid of this click and what event we have to take we have to take the dispatch so for that one dispatch event and inside this one we have to initialize the new event and inside this one we have to give the type so input type and now we have detect the changes now let's save it and see what the output we get here so now currently two now it's one is failing let's see what is that expecting so on change okay so now on basically we have written the same on button 2 and it should be basically this this should be the label like when we type anything on the uh, text box so at point of this time let's see now what is the output and we can see like three test cases passing successfully and we can see here also like for text box one we can see like it is passing so this is the way like we write the test case for the uh, text box if we type anything now next is like if we pass any event from there so let's do here and this is text box 2 now here 
like instead of the dispatch event what we have to do like from here we are passing the event in the text box like if you will see we are passing the event means the value we are passing so that we have to pass from here so let's make some changes for that so basically what changes we have to do like the value we have to pass from here so element dot value and i will say like this value is changed to dot net updated and now same we will expect inside this label so let's save it and see on the browser what see it's basically disconnected so let's reload it and once we reload let's see and we can see at point of this time four test cases succeed and if we will go and even we can see here like text box 2 so this is the way of writing the unit test case for the different type of the events we are having so as per our requirement like we have many type of the event like for the drop down change also and like if we have any like on the house over so there are so many events we have so as per our requirement we can create our own event and according to to that we have to write the unit test case for that one so first like some common things like first we have to get the dom element and then after getting the dom element like like what is the event it is attached to it so according to that we have to take the action then we have to direct the changes and then we have to assert the value and check the value so this is the way of writing the unit test case for the event binding and that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you